Hello, good day. Today is as dull a day as you could possibly imagine. A uh, little bit of wind, and the trees shaking outside, but otherwise uh, somewhat lifeless. Uh, I hope that doesn't affect me, <laughs> nor any of us here in this world. This is the last Sunday now before we begin Lent. Last Sunday of the ordinary time. Then we pick up ordinary time again after the Easter time. We have this whole big section of the liturgy devoted to the central part of our faith. Our Lord giving himself over to us with an incredible act of love by offering himself up for us on the cross. And so giving us life out of his love, giving us endless life out of his infinite love. Nonetheless, these, this particular, these readings are, I, I'm always amazed at how wonderful these readings are. I'd like to, instead of starting with the first reading, usually I go to the third and then to the second, I'd like to start instead with the second reading and toward the end of it. Um, in the last section there, for he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts and then everyone will receive praise from God according to the motives of our hearts. It's a sort of a psychoanalysis um, without the psychoanalysis. Just he just looks at us and he knows what we're really all about. I don't think I do. I know what I'm really all about. But God will know. Um, he'll know why we do what we do. He'll know immediately who we are. Out of the depths of our hearts we act. Who we are shows it themselves, ourselves. Why we do what we do what we're really all about. What he's saying here, I think, is that we should be spending a lifetime creating our hearts. That is our loves, creating our loves, creating our motivation. That is, again, making us who we are, the person that we are. A lot of people would say that uh, they, they do the kinds of things they do because it's the right thing to do. Or other people will say, well, my family taught me that, or my church taught me that, or my nation taught me that. Uh, I know whenever I go to a place called Gettysburg and I see there the uh, portraits of the battle that was there, the troops charging into battle lines, willing to die for one's country without a thought for themselves. Totally thoughtless. Charging into battle lines and uh, well, maybe they know and maybe they don't know. They're going to be just ripped to pieces. But it doesn't seem like it matters. They've given themselves so totally over to their country. The world that made them into that kind of a person we ask the dear Lord to make us into the kind of persons we need to be made into by his grace and his goodness. Toward the end of the gospel, uh, chapter 5, verses 24 to 34. Uh, let me pick out two sections there. Will he not pro uh, much more provide for you, O you of little faith? So do not worry. In other words, we have ourselves so totally given to the Lord that we, out of our faith, know there's nothing to think about. There's nothing to worry. God will provide. God does provide. God always has provided. So much do we belong to our God. So much is our heart in the hands of our God. And then going on to the, toward the end of this gospel, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, 
And all these things will be given you besides all the things the Gentiles want, all the things for your body. Seek first the kingdom of God. Make God your life. Seek the kingdom of God, which is his order and his righteousness, his will. And it's all done. Make our hearts into a people who belong to the dear Lord who are motivated by the Lord, whose feelings are for the Lord, who are all about the Lord. That's the life's task. Matthew 6, 30, verse 33, should be the verse that rules our life. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then forget about it, everything else. It's all done. You got it. The great treasure is that we belong to the Lord. We have what we'll need for this life, and we will have for what we the, everything for all of eternity. That should be the motive of our heart, the depths of our heart. It's the same as in another verse, or, or verses in various places. Love God with all your heart, with all your mind and with all your soul. That's, that's what our hearts need to be created into. Seek the grace of God to grow a heart that belongs to God, that is all about God. That's the goal of our life. That's what holiness means. That's what we want to achieve and present that to the Lord when we stand before the judgment seat. God bless you now, and God bless you always.